And we start with an ambush turned gunfight in the front yard of a Stockton home. Six armed suspects against one man trying to protect his dad. I was going to be dead. As soon as I opened the door, I'll be dead. Two of the suspects ended up in the hospital. Another is now behind bars. Thanks for joining us here at 5. Lots going on. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live in Stockton today at the home where this all happened. Madison. Right, and you can still see traces of it. A bullet hole here in the back gate, still marked with police evidence left behind. One of those bullet holes, likely from where that son was defending his family. Six suspects, the family says, were here. One of those now charged by police. He's in custody, 19 years old, for attempted home invasion robbery. This incident, these bullet holes, a small reminder of what this family believes could have been so much worse, and they know from experience. As soon as I open the door, I'll be dead. Surveillance video showed two suspects on the run, away from the gun battle they started. One of them injured in the shootout by the target's son, in the right place at the right time. I get the phone call telling me, hey, dad, there's some guys waiting for you outside. Don't come out. Stay there. Stay put. Salvador Cervantes played out the what ifs. I'll be dead, and most, most of the family will be dead right now. At this moment, shattered glass and bullet holes litter the front of the Cervantes's Stockton home. He's a jeweler and he's been here before. Ten times with guns. And in the process, one of the, in one of the robberies, they killed my father. His father, Ignacio Cervantes, a jeweler too. Ten years ago in June, Ignacio arrived at the Stockton flea market, only to be ambushed and killed by two masked men. I was trying to keep him alive until the ambulance came, but when they came, it was, it was too late. We met Salvador a decade ago when he told CBS 13 about his father's murder. He would go on to keep the family business alive. We do what we had to do. Today, his life saved by his own son. Six people shooting at him and him by himself. That was like basically God was on our side for now. Cervantes' his brother angry as he's watched while his family is targeted over and over. Uh, I've always been law enforcement myself, uh, and you think you're there to protect uh, the weak. I have no confidence in Stockton PD. Zero. Again, his son okay, but those bullet holes, this broken fence where some of those suspects jumped over and away through neighbors' backyards and into a getaway vehicle. Now, I talked with Stockton PD today to get an update on their father's case. It's been 10 years next month, and there have still been no arrests made in that. Now, of course, this happening today, two people are still in the hospital, suspects in this, and will be later taken into custody, and the family is hopeful that as they saw six people that three others will also follow and more arrests and charges will come out.